So today we take an in-depth look at Night City, the size of this, the districts, who occupies the districts and much more. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. And people, because we are building up the hype for this game, I will give away two copies on every platform to your lucky people. To enter it simple, like this video and leave a comment down below. The more of my cyberpunk videos you watch, like and comment on, the more of a chance you have of winning. Winners will be announced the week before this game's release on November 19th. Good luck. So the map of Night City is a pretty big one and today we check it out while it offers the districts to it and the actual size of this place. Okay so the map and the important part, how big is this? Obviously the bigger the better but in saying that, we don't want to see massive empty spaces or empty areas to make things seem bigger. That in my opinion isn't the way to go, yes we need space but not empty space which is what we see a lot of within GTA 5. Now the best way to see how big this map is, is well to compare it to GTA 5's map, which let's not kid ourselves here, is a pretty big map. But having looked absolutely everywhere on the internet for any kind of source from CD Projekt Red on the actual size of Night City, there's simply not a single source I could find which actually states the size of this thing. All I found was fellow content creators trying to figure this out for themselves using maths and gameplay footage and what is estimated to be around double the size of Los Santos of GTA 5. Now obviously Los Santos is only one section of the GTA 5 map, although you'd argue the main section of the GTA 5 map, but there are still certain areas you can explore outside of Los Santos even though they are mostly empty spaces and mountain tops. But the actual city sizes, it seems straight up, Night City vs Los Santos, Night City is around double the size. With most sources I am seeing putting it around 25 uh, squared kilometers, something like that. But it actually doesn't end there for Night City because Night City is built upon many many layers, meaning the verticality within Night City is extraordinary. And although a CD Project Red dev did confirm that not every building you can explore, the majority you can. And while this is another point I believe which makes it a better game, I mean having a much bigger open space is okay, but when you are travelling for ages to find someone or something, that doesn't really appeal to me, I'd rather a much denser area filled with things to do and something around every corner. So although Night City is bigger than GTA 5's, it's also way more compact, which is a great thing. And while the scaling doesn't include the Badlands, which are the surrounding areas of Night City, and although this for what we have seen does seem like a lot of emptiness, there like I said seems to be a lot of space here, and I mean loads of people. And you can see this on screen now with this demonstration of basically driving down the Badlands, and you can just about make out Night City in the background. That's how big the Badlands seems to be. And let's not forget it people, the Badlands is occupied by the Nomad. So there's going to be plenty of things to do here. So although it does seem like it's going to be an empty space, it's going to be filled with things to find, do and achieve. No doubt about it. So yeah, Night City's map is bigger than GTA 5's in terms of the city itself, but it actually rams much more into each squared kilometer. GTA 5's Los Santos was estimated around 14 squared kilometers. Night City's, like I said, is around at 25 mark. So almost double. But also with Night City there is that point of verticality where it said some explorable buildings are up to or more than 60 floors which is utterly nuts. Plus there are levels it seems in the ground of many areas too which is just ridiculous. So not only do we go up we go down. So yeah Night City itself seems pretty big. So we have a big city but let's quickly check out the different districts within this city. We have Watson, Westbrook, City Centre, Haywood, Santo Domingo and Pacifica and then we have the surrounding Badlands. Each of these districts also have their sub-districts too. Within Watson we have the Arasaka Waterfront, the Northside Industrial Estate, the Kabuki and Little China. Watson was once a major industrial district with its own nightclubs, corporate offices, a top-end med centre, a cutting-edge technology park and the biggest black market in the city. Watson was completely changed by Arasaka's return following the Unification War. So crazy people. Next up we have Westbrook and within Westbrook we have Japantown, North Oaks and Charter Hill. Westbrook was one of the city's districts to sustain significant damages after the nuclear attack on Arasaka back in 2023. After major restorations, Asian corporations and many of Night City's elite established their residence in Westbrook's North Oak. 
Now within city centre we have downtown and a Corpo Plaza. Night City's city centre was completely rebuilt after the fourth corporate war happened just a few decades ago. Cool to know. Within Haywood we have Wellsprings, The Glen and Vista de Rey. Largely Latino and full of growing gangs in their influence, Haywood remains one of the city's wealthier districts. It is home to a gang known as the Valentinos, known for their strong moral code and adherence to old traditions. Within Santo Domingo we have the Arroyo and Rancho Coronado. So Santo Domingo, one of Night City's oldest districts, became its central industrial district with many factories, nuclear plants and junkyards. After it stopped being a shelter to many citizens affected by the fourth corporate war, it instead became a testing ground for industrial projects. A cramped housing neighbourhood and a home to the 6th street gang. And within Pacifica we have the West Wind Estate and Coast View. This area was supposed to become Night City's tourist district, but a global economic recession put the funding behind the project to an end. Massive and deserted, the ambitious construction sites were overtaken by gangs and the migrating Haitian community. So many sub-districts to these districts people, and also confirmed by CD Project Red, every single street within this map and every part of this city and these districts is named. That's just one kind of depth to this game, it's crazy. Now these districts within Night City behold many exclusive things, missions, cyber missions, different upgrading options like cyberware, different options of customization in terms of clothing, different kinds of weapons and rarities, hidden loot caches and much much more. They are also occupied by many different kinds of people and gangs you will meet and well could end up in the middle of a turf war while visiting. Now, I've mentioned a few just but we'll get into each gang and where they are located and based. I also do have a video dedicated to gangs coming soon which you might find in my playlist I've already uploaded by the time you're watching this video. That playlist is linked below. Within that video I'll go into depth within these gangs, today I'll just tell you the basics and where they are occupied. So the Maelstrom Gang. These will be found via locations like the Watson District within the Northside Industrial Sub-District and Kibiki. One time, a Maelstrom Ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes for shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? I'm gonna introduce you to our meat grinder. About time we had some fun! Think Maelstrom ever forgets? Never! <laughs> I hate these Borg fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? We have the Moxies who also tend to hang around the Kabiki near a point of interest called Lizzie's Bar. Come on, baby. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Folk went ballistic. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the Mox got started. Think you're some kind of gang group now, huh? Us Moxes have each other's back. We look out for one another. You looking for some company tonight? How'd you hook up with the Mox? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. The scavengers who you will find all over Night City, but with a concentrated presence in North Pacifica and the Southern Wellsprings. The Tiger Claws can be found within the Watson and Westbrook districts within Japantown, Chart Hill, Kibuki, and Little China. My husband's new Westbrook, very high in the Tiger Claws. They did what made the best eddies, sold sex and black market tin. See a lot of tigers, they run this place. Know what else they do well? Break the knees of people who ask questions. Do something. Shut the fuck up! The tigers will kill us. The Valentinos, who can also be found within the three sub districts of Haywood. I take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. I gotta give style points to the Valentinos. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos. The Voodoo Boys can be found within the Pacifica district. Any idea how many attacks from behind the Black Wall we neutralized? If the Voodoo Boys breach the Black Wall, we'll all be fucked. Voodoo Boys? Urban myth, I thought. Just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you. Voodoo Boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the Voodoo Boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica is just Haiti 2.0, their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. This is our turf, our home. The animals who can be found all over Night City, but are mainly concentrated to South Pacifica. Animals are the craziest fucking gang in this city. 
Breaker Star! Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the court. See how this works now? And then we have Sixth Street, who are based within both Santo Domingo and Haywood districts. Sixth Street, why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with Sixth Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before Sixth Street shows up. Shot! 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 Any more Second Amendment fans in the house, huh? Uh, hate those bastards. Vomit lofty patriotic bullshit all day. Time to so there are a lot of gangs you will come across within Night City, and I cannot wait to dive straight in. So yeah guys, that's basically an overview of the map of Night City. I do have another in-depth guide into the Pacific Districts where we learn a lot more about those. If you are interested in that, stay tuned. But I just wanted to give you a basic size of the map, an overview of the districts, and who occupies what area. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, make sure you like and subscribe. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think and hopefully I will see you on that next one.